Harris flares out of the backfield. Oh, oh yes! Thank you very fucking much. That was fantastic. That was like a number 10 in rugby. Spying a gap, throwing a dummy, which he did. He threw a little, you know, fake pass. A dummy pass, which is what we say. You know, you dummy it. Whoosh, and go. Uh, he dummied it and went. And believe it or not, that was actually a nice bang off the left. A really nice one. Right, you guys, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to American Football video. Today, we are... Having our look at Tua Tungavailoa, the fifth pick from the 2020 NFL Draft, he went to Alabama, played three seasons, decided to forego his senior season um, due to multiple reasons actually. We did cover that in the previous video. So if you do want to have a look, have a reaction to, to Tua's um, story so far throughout college with me, please have a look at the previous video. But if you're here now and all you care about is seeing some highlights, well that's what we're about to do. So, I've typed to his name into YouTube, and this is what we've got. I'm looking for a highlight video of his college football season, plus anything else we want to watch. So, to a, to a lower college highlights. Just Bombs Production, 11 minutes 54, 329,000 views. We've got college films, Alabama quarterback Tua Tungvaloa, 2019 highlights. All Tua Tungvaloa plays from 2018 National Championship versus Georgia. Well, seeing as what we just learnt in the previous video, that Tua came in as a backup. Tua didn't start one game that year, came in as a backup, only because Jalen Hurts wasn't playing very well, ended up winning the game for them. I mean, we have to watch that. We actually have to watch that. That's going to be one of our videos, but not this one. Uh, Modell highlights. Tua Tungvaloa, 2018-19 highlights. Greatest player in college football. Shit, what do you do? I'm going to go Just Bombs production. Why not? Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Bailo. I try to make it. So another thing I want to mention is that Tua's dad forced him as a kid to throw with his left hand, even though he's right-handed. But not only that, whenever he threw an interception, he'd get the belt. But not only that, at eight years of age, Tua was throwing the ball 30 yards when a normal eight-year-old would struggle to throw at 10. So all of that all paints a little bit of a picture of where Tua is now and why he is the player he is today. And that is the kind of shit that I fucking love. Got for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! And what did he do? Throw a left-handed 50-yard bomb. When will Tua check out for the afternoon? Comes out throwing. All the run. Pressure from behind. He's down. Oh no. And two is down. His helmet came off. This is exact. Shit. That must be the injury. And I'm not surprised he did get injured. He was getting chased down by two bloody beasts. What you did not want to see happen. And sometimes as a coach. Oh, hang on. You just got to listen. Not want to see happen. And sometimes. Oh. As a coach, is exactly what they said his knee got to... driven into the ground, which it does, and his hip must go like back like this. Happen and... Two guys right on his back. That right knee. Must be that right knee. Oh, it's at an angle where... Oh, shit, that, that ain't... Oh, that ain't good. As a coach, you just got to listen to your gut. And I think Nick wanted to take him out. Right knee. And Tua talked him back into it, and hopefully this isn't serious. It's the much-anticipated debut of the freshman from Hawaii, Tua Tungvaloa. Scanning the field, he got all kinds of time, and now he's running out of it. He's still going to rip it downfield. Oh! Devontae Smith. 
Is that his first game? Like Steve Young there for a second. This guy's the backup. Bro, that's back. sick. That. Okay, yeah, he just made a name for himself with that very play. Harris flares out of the backfield. Oh! Thank you very fucking much. That was fantastic. That was like a number 10 in rugby. Spying a gap, throwing a dummy, which he did. He threw a little, you know, fake pass. A dummy pass, which is what we say. You know, you dummy it. Whoosh, and go. Uh, he dummied it and went. And believe it or not, that was actually a nice bang off the left. A really nice one. A nice little right foot step to lean into it and then bang. Let's watch it again. That's almost... And the little head movement too, it's all it's all natural clearly. Plenty of time surveying the field, fires end zone, touchdown! It's a fucking bullet. Finally makes an impact. Oh my god! What? Motion's in. Tua's got it. Spins away, throws to the end zone, a risky throw, caught for a touchdown, there are some flags in late, he was And Judy got drafted this year too. End. He may have roughed the quarterback. To the tight of the lower. Play fake, Tua loads it, goes deep for Waddle, got him in stride. What a throw, you can't get more perfect than that. Touchdown Alabama. Come on, how do you do this? But Tua's looking to throw. It's a downfield shot. Jerry Judy, the target. Oh, that's 60 yards. From the 30. It's a downfield shot. Jerry Judy, the target. 50 yards, sorry. He's got it. And the target Still. There's Judy. I like Judy. I like the sound of him, mate. That's... Oh, that's definitely one of the players we're going to watch in this, this video series. So. Oh, that, that is stunning, actually. The bottom of your screen. Look that way. Mm, the pace and the again. stick. And watch this. Go. All the way to the house. So he did score yards. rushing touchdowns. Bang. <laughs> yeah. Love seeing quarterbacks run with the ball. Absolutely love it. They might go for one right here, and he will, much like the championship oh, game. I've seen that. The same guy. Well, maybe I haven't. I don't know. I've, I've seen catches like that. <laughs> right, you know, outstretched. Oh, and again. That's not the same game, is it? No. Jeez. Started a year with three straight 50 point games. Tungo Viola still on target. Go, Judy! And Jerry Judy is in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Absolutely beautiful. These throws are insane. They're so long, but they're going right to the. Oh my god, do they have rugs too? So they had Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs III, and Tua Tungo Viola. Plus. Probably about 15 other 2020 draft picks. Again. Enzo. Touchdown. All right, how did that receiver get open? There he is, bottom of your screen. Throwing again. Enzo. Touchdown. Got right around the back. Henry Ruggs. I'm not Henry. surprised, guys, because he did run a 4 2 7. Oh! Drops to throw, scans the field, wanted to go short. Still with the ball, and now the delivery for the touchdown. Against Texas. Knocked away at the last second. You had the call, Brad. I thought he knocked it down. And Alex was not in the sack. They had pressure. Bro, you guys better watch out, man. This guy's doing it all day. He must get a clean release from this cornerback and just go. The call, Brad. I thought he knocked it down. And, uh, 
Later. Oh man, it'd be so hard to defend these receivers. Like, look, he just goes. Later. And it was happening on the other side of the field with fucking Judy. Judy's like 6'4". What a throw. Exciting, very exciting prospect. Nick wasn't kidding when he said he's got a nice arm. Man, does he? Actually, you know what? I think I'm getting Jerry Judy and C D Lamb completely confused. Jerry Judy. I am. I'm getting completely confused. C D Lamb is 6'4. Right? 6'3. Wide receiver, C D Lamb. Who'd he play for? He played for Oklahoma. That's why I'm confused. They've got the same colored uniform. Nice. Way to back yourself. Way to back yourself. So w w when is he? When is he considering going himself? He's got a tight end here. He's got a receiver here. Receiver here. Receiver here. So he's got one. One receiver, two receiver, three receiver, four receiver, all going to the left. And the defense is going to be following them. Bang! Right there, he sticks his left foot in. That's the moment he decides, right, you know what? There's enough room there. I'm going to go for it. And that he does. 21. Clean pocket for two into the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, these receivers Jerry are just... Judy again! <laughs> I mean, ugh. wouldn't you love to be right? Look at that, look at that stadium. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jerry Judy again. It's been a while since I've seen a stadium and thought, holy fucking shit, I've got to pause that. Alabama home stadium. It has like 100,000 people, right? Bryant, it's the home field, Bryant-Denny Stadium. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I've read this before. 101,821 <laughs> is the fourth largest stadium in the Southeastern Conference. Are you kidding me? There's four stadiums over 100,000. Uh, the seventh largest stadium in the United States and the ninth largest stadium in the world. What is the largest stadium in the world? Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? Strahov Stadium, 250,000 people, which is more than double the stadium in second spot. I don't get that. That must, that must be, that must be like a, a big park or something. Oh my God. It was built for displays of synchronized gymnastics on a massive scale <laughs> with a field three times as long as, and three times as wide as the standard association football pitch. It has a capacity of 250,000 spectators, of which 56,000 are seating, making it the largest stadium and the second largest sports venue ever built. So it's got 56,000 seats, and the rest is standing. And the second largest sports venue ever built. What is the largest sports venue ever built? I believe Strahov Stadium is, is still number one. List of closed stadiums by capacity. Circus Maximus! <laughs> Circus Maximus! Look at this! Oh, it includes, it includes uh, stadiums that have been closed. Circus Maximus in Rome was used for chariot racing and was closed in the year 549. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Goes up and down and around. Up, down, up, down. Chariot racing. A hundred... Is an ancient Roman chariot racing stadium and mass entertainment venue located in Rome, Italy. It measured 621 meters in length, or 2,037 feet, and 118 meters in width, and could accommodate over 150,000 spectators. Okay, guys, <laughs> that is the kind of shit that interests the hell out of me. And if it doesn't interest you, I apologize. Let's continue. Nice cut. Harris 
So he definitely scored rushing touchdowns. And the tide quickly cash in good field position. Maybe we'll even see his tackle. Slides up. Goes deep for Judy. On the money. Touchdown, Alabama. On the money, all right. some pressure on this time. Sidesteps one guy. Throws on the run. He's got Judy at the corner. First down time. That definitely isn't easy throwing. When you're not balanced. Smith. That's number five. Three. Oh, bro. Okay, yeah. Look at the pass. Look at the fucking release. Look at look at the move. Look at the move by the receiver. You'll see it right here. Bang. Splits them. Bro. <laughs> Were there any other players other than six and four? Ah, uh, so that was five, five, five passing touchdowns in one game. That was a record. Third and eleven, all day. In zone, touchdown. Guess who? Guess who? One of the best ever at wide receiver for the Crimson Tide, Jerry Judy, twenty-three yards. Man, he's everywhere. No pressure. Hunga Balona has all night. Hit hard, spinning around, trying to escape and create. Oh, I like this. Where's the blocker? The yeah! The Dives in hard for the first down. Conversion. They want to dominate. Nick Shaman even said it this week. Tugger by Lola fires one deep. Wide open is wrong. Oh, if he scores this. Oh, the pace! That, mate, that, that speed. To, t to catch that ball, turn around, and still have the breakaway speed. That is incredible. How long was that pass? Third down conversion. They want to dominate. Nick there we go. From the 20. Literally. Foot on the 20. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Oh, mate. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, number 11. We haven't seen number 11 a lot, have we? But you know why he had that pace. He ran a 4-2-7 at the combine. This is Henry Ruggs III. I want to watch that again. Just turn the burners on. Everything about that play was incredible. The patience from the quarterback and then the Tony Tote, the place and drag from the, uh, the wide receiver. All day to throw. Oh, that's how you want it. There, Ruggsy, go! Bro, I can't, oh my god. Tua is going to run riot in the NFL. He is going to be a playmaking quarterback with a triple threat option. Yeah, I want to see that guy in full, in full, full stride this year too. No, we saw that one. I was going to say, did he just make that same run? Listen to the crowd, it gives you fucking goosebumps. That is from the 13. Hang on, so that's 37 yards, 47, 51. Fifty-one yards in the full, but in total, an eighty-seven-yard touchdown. Eighty-one yards. 
Oh, 81. College kids will tend to think that's pretty cool. Here's Tonga Baloa throwing wide open, caught, touchdown! Devontae Smith for the score! Oh, so that's interesting. See, he's rolling out to the right, but he's left-handed, which means he has to, you know, shape up to throw. Whereas if he was rolling out to the left, it would be that much easier, wouldn't it? But what that means is that he can roll out any way. It doesn't really matter. Throwing wide open, caught, touchdown! Devontae Smith for the Isn't that crazy looking at that? Everything is going left. Everything. Everyone is ball hawking that ball, right, to see whether that running back gets it or not. As soon as they realize he's not getting it, literally the whole field, you know, swings back the other way. Watch this. Devontae Smith for the score. Well, the tide's starting to roll. most of the field. The linemen are, you know, already holding up each other, but every other player was, was definitely moving across the other side of the field. Second of five. Tonga Bailoa looks in zone again. Leafy Brown. <laughs> Bro, lucky he caught that, because if he had missed that, that was going straight for a fan's face. There he is. Against LSU too. Into the end zone to Ruggs. Beautiful. You've got Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs running across the field. He decided, nah, I'm not going to go Judy, but he was probably looking at him. He's got an eye line with Jerry Judy, although he decides to throw it behind him to his other receiver when no one was expecting it. Well, actually, I think Ruggs was getting held. I believe that's Ruggs right there. No, there was two of them. I think he was going... Was he going behind his lineman? Where is he? There he is. Okay, so he's, he's on the left. Okay, so we've got, we've got Judy here. We've got Ruggs here. Judy runs behind Ruggs. Ruggs goes behind his lineman and then turns for an out route breaks free, and then it's just to his decision which receiver he decides to throw it to, and it seems as if it was Ruggs. Sprint to the left. Hmm. Probably could have, probably could have thrown it to Judy. And throws it into the end zone. Actually, when does that, I'm, I'm just doing this because this is fun, but this is, this is my film work, right? Okay, so look at that. This defender sees that that ball is not going to Judy anymore. He's turning He's, he's turning as fast as he can, but he's still not fast enough because of, because of how good that ball is. To the left and, and the catch, the actually. Definitely no easy catch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck fucking marking that. Go yourself. No. How did he get open? Defender did pretty well, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Angabaloa trying to make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! No. No. That's, that's not in the, that's, that, well, uh, uh, we just saw the winning touchdown in the 2018 National Championship game. Angabaloa. In overtime. Three points down. From his... 50-yard line, slings it. I'll try to 
Make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! <laughs> wow! At Georgia, too. Oh, mate, look at the crowd. They hate it. Oh. Heartbreaking. The Crimson Tide will not be denied. Yes. Okay, well, Just Bombs Productions, because you've been featured on this channel, I will give you your shout out, which is a subscribe. Um, with that being said, guys, we've. You know what, guys? I was going to watch this. I was going to watch all of Tua's plays from that game, but honestly, I feel like we've seen enough. We definitely have. I'm super excited to see this guy play in the NFL. I'm super excited to see him, um, you know, I guess even train, start training with the, the Dolphins. I don't follow them on social media. I probably should. Um, but I tend to follow just a just a certain few because at the end of the day if you follow too many football players or too many football teams your feed is just just all football and to be honest nobody should be all about one thing um, but at the moment I'm definitely all about football so with that being said guys I really hope you enjoyed that I hope that a few new viewers might come into the channel and if you are new here please consider subscribing because this channel is all fun man I'm a rugby player but I absolutely love sport I love physical activity I love competition I'm just a sports nut I mean you ask a sports nut why do you love sport you know what makes you love it so much you know why when it doesn't matter if it's golf swimming fucking tiddlywinks if it's on TV and it's sport you're gonna watch it now where does that come from why and I think it's just ingrained I think it's it's definitely part of your personality I think that as a kid if you were active and you did enjoy running and you did enjoy playing sports then I guess you're going to enjoy it as a as an adult if you were good at sports as a kid you will most likely enjoy it as an adult and i don't know i guess if uh, if your hero as a kid happened to be a sports person a professional sportsman which it certainly was for me um i think that definitely goes into it as well that the you know i just love sport i absolutely love sport i i'm so i am so stoked that, that fateful day two years ago, I decided to have a look at American football. And, you know, from there, life has just been fun. It's been so fun. And I, I thank you guys for, for, for being on this journey with me. It's certainly not over. I'm only 29 years of age. I'll still be here when I'm 40. And I'll still be here when I'm 50. But you could die tomorrow. So at the end of the day, you can't take things too seriously. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video to have a look at none other than the linebacker that broke the internet when he ran a 439 40 yard dash. His name is Asaya, 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 Asaya Simmons. He played for Clemson as a linebacker and uh, well, in the next video, I get my head around his story, his college football journey, and then we have a look at his highlights. So if you're looking forward to that video, please stick around. I'll see you later everybody. Have a fantastic day and peace out.